fresh. I work hard. What you singing, Blake? I work hard. I work hard. I work hard. I work hard. What the doctor said was from overcompensating for my other Achilles, it's common to rupture the other one. You're healing very, very well? I am. So I can go home? No! <laughs> what you mean? I work hard. crazy here. I'm trying to figure out what products I have here. I just found out all good. Everything has been delivered. So we are on everything. We are good to go. Oh, amazing. If we don't have bottles, then we don't have a line. It's a bus. I heard from CVS they wanted to give me 5,000 stores. And that was so overwhelming for me because I knew of the logistical problems that I was having. Jermaine, I could not have done this without you and your team. What I've had to do is spend a lot more money to get my packaging in from overseas. I had to save my deals. You deserve it. You worked very hard. We're twirling at a CVS near you. We are at the bosses. Be nice, man. your best behavior. Rodan. I like you got some home training. Yeah! yeah! You guys made it! Oh my God, you're so crazy. We're so happy to have you guys. Hi. Can I get a hug? Hey man, what's happening? Good? Ah, yes, you're sir. strong. We were here waiting for y'all for 10 hours. And I'm smacking you know, food, so yeah. No, because we're cooking together. Now, you know I can't cook. We're going to make know, tacos look. together. You guys are going to be changing tires and oil. So I got you guys your official <laughs> mechanic outfit. Ross has offered to spend some time with Michael and William just so they can have some guy time. And we want to do something with the boys. That would be great. We want Marlo to know that she has a village that she can count on. A strong male role model can just fill a void for the boys. I truly appreciate seeing you and Ross. You guys are gonna change the tire on my, my little Gucci Fiat out there. Ready? We go get All it. All right. Marlo, I know you're not ordering food. Oh, I'm talking to my mom. <laughs> you know, she's at the hotel. I want to make sure yeah, she has Yeah, I wanted to food. ask you about, I know your mom has been visiting. I mean, I haven't seen her in three years. Wow. And how come she's at a hotel, though? Why is she not staying with you? Because uh, our past, the last place that I lived, she came to and we got into a disagreement and she was upset with me. And she literally walked out your door, went and knocked on every neighbor's door. and was like, this mother bitch, this hoe. What? Because she had got upset. I'm a little worried. Like, is my mom gonna be in her right state of mind? Is she gonna be drinking? Is she gonna be on drugs? It hurts for my mother not being able to put down drugs and alcohol. It hurts for me being a little girl going through so much in life by myself. That's why I have to make Michael and William feel loved. But I am willing to work on it and yeah. see if my mother is open to do that and get the proper help she needs so we can have that bond. We go change this tie, right? The first thing, so all you need to do is just pop that off. Pop that off. There you go. Don't break the car. Changing a tire, going fishing, putting on a tie. I never had that experience until I had a stepfather. So just to teach them the, the small things, that's one of the things that I didn't have as a kid. Oh, yeah, man. You look like a pro. You want to work with NASCAR? <laughs> <laughs> Be confident in whatever you do, man. You got it. Oh, William, I bet you're going to mess it up. And it's perfect. So you're gonna put that there. You full? Yep, it's full. All right, good. Good job, fellas. So that's that easy. Ooh. So I'm sitting down, child. You didn't work me too much. My damn feet hurt. Hola. Uh, we got some, Auntie. Uh-oh. I don't know what did y'all do. He got the tire, he got the oil. Oh, I wanna go! So that's something you're always gonna remember, Mr. To Ross helped you with that. We tried it on your car, too. No, you did not try it on my car, William. I am so, no, this is so touching. Wait, y'all got to eat. Y'all did all that hard work. Yes, I'll make I it I just laid over the stove. Y'all take it easy on the shrimp. I didn't make the shrimp, Mike and William. Do here. <laughs> no, but I wanted to tell you something. Have you been hunching lately? You working on getting a baby. How about that? 
How'd you guess? Have you took the UDI? What is it, UDI? Girl, what am I doing with you? Is it UTI? What am I gonna do with you? It's an IUD. Oh, I you the dick in me. Okay, I you dick in me. I got it. I you dick. So the other day we were talking and he's like, look, baby, if you don't want it, I don't want it. Like, I want us to like be on the same page about it. If you're not committed to it, then I don't want us to have another child. Mm. I want to be in the trenches, but I'm only in if, if we're together. And that was like so sexy and just like, mm. I was like, okay, I think I want to do it. I have officially made my appointment to get my IUD taken out. Mm. Yeah! I really do feel that my husband is finally starting to understand what I need from him to be able to move on this journey of having our second child. I think what, what changed Sonya, Sonya's mind was uh, when we both started to listen to each other. At first, we were trying to win an argument. So I think once we heard each other's perspective, that's what pushed us along. Can you have a girl this time, though? I want a girl. Just have a girl. So I can have a hella Chanel. I have an all I hella sequence and do all that. Everybody with me. got boys. I need a girl. Is there any way you can talk like to God or somebody? Oh yeah, I got him on the main line, girl. Okay, come on. I got God on the main line. A girl on the main line. <laughs> on the main line.